Good morning and welcome to Harrogate's Park Rent. Today I am in the centre of Harrogate in this nice big field. We are going to be doing a park run here. It is August, so of course it's 10 degrees, wet and very, very cold. Makes it very easy to find <laughs> the, the runners here today because if I can get them in frame, there's a huddle of penguins it looks like behind me. Everyone trying to keep warm. But no, it should be good. I'm looking forward to it. I've never been here before, never done this course. So let's go take a quick look at a course overview now. And then we're going to get into some running. Even the most loyal of parkrun goers to this Harrogate parkrun wouldn't describe the course as exciting. But what it does have is a very easy route to navigate, so you don't need to think too much. It's also very flat and there's incredible support literally at every turn around the course with fantastic marshals who are really, really encouraging. So strongly recommend a visit here. There's not too much to add in terms of the actual course layout or anything like that. You won't get lost. It's as simple as that. But in terms of an actual event, it is fantastic. <laughs> At the start of the race I did miss it a little bit there but it is very spread out so you might have to run on the grass. There were quite a lot of people taking part in this race. The only catch, maybe the only problem on this whole course is for the first one third of a mile around the square there is a small problem with overhanging trees so you do have to duck under them a little bit but otherwise all good. Hello. So we are about three kilometres in Running at 5.16 pace, so that will bring me around in about 26.30. Uh, good little course so far. It's very um, narrow on the path. Very hard to overtake if you get caught at the back. Lots of trees to duck under. Um, in terms of a park run route, it's very dull. Just three squares, but easy to run. Not going to get lost, and yeah, I've done the rest, and I'll see you at the finish line. Way into the finish, you can see things start to spread out. There's not as many people, so it is a bit easier to run on the trails and on the pavements. Thank you, job. <laughs> Brilliant work, guys. Oh, a little bit. Uh, but at least we get an idea for the next time. Brilliant, well done. It's cool. A few moments later. Following the park run, obviously getting a cafe stop in, we went to a place, place called Slingsbury's, which is really, really good. Their white chocolate flapjack was fantastic. Really sticky. Lovely little layer of white chocolate on top. I don't know, there were these little crunchy things inside which really, really topped it off, but otherwise fantastic. Other breakfast food was available, not real life breakfast food, Eggs Benedict, you name it, that was all there too. But yeah, that white chocolate flapjack is one to write home about for sure. And this was maybe a mile away from the finish line, so really not too much of a distance for you. And I'd, yeah, recommend going here as well. Harrogate Park Run done and dusted. Please remember to comment, like, share, subscribe, all of that sort of stuff. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, the run was lovely. Three mile long loops, that's all it is. Um, not the most entertaining of courses, but with all the pacemakers and the support that there was on the course, it's definitely one to come out and run a PB. It's lovely and flat. If you uh, manage to get ahead of the curve, you can stay on the path the entire time. And it is quite good underfoot, even today on a rainy day. It wasn't that muddy really. I did run in trail shoes, but I think road shoes would suffice for the majority of the way. So in terms of leaving your bags, you can leave them at the finish line and there's people there. 
Uh, the toilets are quite close to where the finish is, so just on one side of the, the fields over here. Um, so that's great as well. Car parking, not a problem at all. There's lots of side streets, there's lots of areas around this big green space. There's lots of advice on the Parkrun website and where you can go and what street names to put into Google Maps. Um, so yeah, don't worry too much about that at all. Um, so yeah, get out there, do your park run. Remember one run doesn't make you fit, one pizza doesn't make you fat. Just enjoy your running and I'll see you next week. Ciao.